Jeffrey Smith says the purpose of this event is to start a dialogue with the LGBTQ community, but the event has received a lot of backlash. Smith says that's not his intention. Pride Week is in full swing. I make the ugliest woman on earth. But just last week, Jeffrey Smith created the Facebook page, Open Carry Outreach at Cincinnati Pride, that created outrage from members of the LGBTQ community. The event encourages people to bring their guns to Pride on Saturday. We're a bunch of friendly people, friendly, knowledgeable people, and um, we're not there to sell anything but just to answer questions that anybody might have. The event doesn't sit well with some people. A lot of us will feel safer. A lot of us will be kind of nervous about it. I don't necessarily think that it's the right time to maybe bring all of that out in the open, um, but, you know, to each their own. In the meantime, Cincinnati police have reevaluated all of their security plans, increasing patrols throughout Pride Week. It's great to see the turnout, the support, the protection, and again, like I said, it's a shame that it's necessary, and maybe it's not, but it's an added protection that makes us feel more comfortable. Assistant Chief Paul Newtongate says as for Smith's events, they are typically non-confrontational. They have a message, they have a very deep belief in the Second Amendment, which they're entitled to do. We are not there to push ourselves on anyone. If somebody wants to interact, if, you know, I and others will be more than thrilled. And if they don't, hey, no harm, no foul. Now below Zero had a large police presence here tonight for their annual wigging out show. Organizers tell me they raised over $5,000, and all that money goes to Cincinnati Pride. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.